I am actually in love with this space. It looks so good. So yes, hello everyone, Budgie here, and welcome back to another Unturned Life episode. Welcome to my new and improved base. I've added some storage now in this part, but of course, I want to get lockers. Like, I'm tired of using these crates. So yeah, I think we probably have enough metal actually left over to make a locker. So I'll probably focus on that later on. But today, I'm going to go out looting again. Now, I know you're all probably a little bit sick of going looting at the moment. And, well, it needs to be done, okay? And to me, looting is a lot of fun anyway. So everything is all stored away now and good to go. Um, I have all the basic supplies with me that I'm going to need on this trip. I might drop off my chainsaw, though, because if I die with it and lose it, I'm going to be kind of annoyed. So, yeah, we'll drop that off and instead we'll take just a normal axe, I guess. That'll be probably fine for a melee weapon. And also, let's see... We have a rifle with us and a bow and arrow, so we should be able to use that no problem. All right, well, let's go. Now, the car already has fuel. As you can see, it's on 96% and it is on 100% health, so we are good to go in that regard. However, I don't have a gas can, so I'm going to see if someone in the safe zone would like to trade with me. Hello, do you have a, uh, a gas can for sale? No? Okay. Um, is that Joe? Joe? Is he sleeping? Wake up. Yo. Oh, oh, hey. Hi. Hey, man. Oh. Sorry to wake oh. you. Are you... Oh. Why are you sleeping here? Oh. I must have just passed out. Oh. Uh, hi. Hey, oh. man. I was just wondering. I kind of need to get myself a portable gas can, or even an industrial one would be pretty good, but uh, a portable one would be just fine. Do you have one that we can trade? I know on our trip, not long uh. ago, you had one. Uh, yeah, let me check with bag a sec. Yep, no worries. All right, so I do remember him having a gas can. Uh, oh, oh, I dropped my bag. Oh, oh wow. Okay, you have um, two yeah, gas hey, cans. I one, wow. Yeah, I do. All right, awesome. Uh, you can take one. Okay, let me oh, see no, if I have anything to trade with you. <laughs> Drop this backpack. All right, um, I have I nothing on me that I can it. give him, though. I'll give him a compass. Hey, you can take this, man. I don't really need it. Um, I'm sure it will come in handy with you. Hey, don't you put that hat I on. I can tell my direction. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, unbelievable. Anyway, Joel, thank you for the gas can. Um, I'm gonna go out looting now. Go on a bit of a solo trip. No problem. If you get ambushed again, if you need reinforcements, try and get in contact with me. Okay, sounds good. See you around, man. Thanks again for the gas can. Okay, there we go. Goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. It's time to leave the safe zone. So, this is my house. Look how nice it looks. I'm so happy with the results. It looks so good. Anyway, I am hoping that the gas can is filled up. Hopefully, it didn't give me one that is empty. I'm sure that won't be the case. But what we'll do is while we're out looting, hopefully, we'll top up on fuel anyway. So even if it is empty, it's not going to be too big of a deal. All right. Where are we going to go first? Uh, some of the campgrounds over there I've noticed are really good for loot. So it might be worth quickly taking a right turn here. And checking out these spots. Oh, okay. There we go. So in the last episode, things got a little bit messy at the military base. We ran into, uh, I think it was UDF and the Brotherhood. They ambushed us with snipers. And honestly, it could have been game over right there and then. I could have died. Unfortunately, Joel died a couple of times. But I was able to uh, TPA him back. So hopefully nothing like that happens in this episode. I want to just go out looting get some supplies, head back to the house, and start working on it some more. I really want to do that storage room up. Okay, this is going to be our first stop here. The car is locked, and there's nothing in the shed. So I've actually found some good weapons in here before. Let's see if we find some more, shall we? Although it's not looking too good. Oh, look at that. Strawberry seed. I'm going to expand the business. Die. Hey, an arrow. I actually need that for my bow and arrow. Wait. Let's get some practice in, shall we? Hoo! There we go. Nice. So yeah, I'm actually a big fan of this bow and arrow because, of course, I can just reuse... What is that? Oh, it's a shirt. I can just reuse the arrows so we don't have to use up ammo and stuff. If you find a bow and arrow in Unturned, I would highly recommend you do it. And we might as well eat the candy bar. Hey, zombie. All right, well, there's nothing here. So I think I'm going to head back the other way. Okay, we're going to go to uh, Camp Kazan. Kazan, I don't know how you say it. It's, it's this place over here. Another spot where I have found some pretty good weapons and loot. So, fingers crossed we get something good. Oh, no. We're good. We're good. <laughs> we're fine. I thought I was going to tip the car over there, but we're all okay. All right. Let's see what we find here. Oh, nice. Yeah, we got a headlamp now. That's actually pretty useful. Is that a tomato? There. 
Don't want that. Blech. So yeah, while I'm looting rounds here, I want to say a big thank you to you guys for the support on Unturned Life. Everyone seems to be enjoying the series very much. I mean, the support has always been really amazing. And there is also another headlamp here. So we will take that and probably sell it in the safe zone. So yeah, thank you for supporting the series for such a long time. We're now on episode 280, I believe, which is just insane. I think that's right, 280, yeah. 280 episodes of Unturned Life. How, how is that even possible? Do you guys remember episode one back in those days? Oh man. And I think all the episodes in, in Washington, they were awesome. I'm not saying Unturned Life isn't awesome now, but I don't know. Back then in Washington, when we first started the series, it was so good. I mean, it's really good now, don't get me wrong. And we have a potato, a crossbow. Oh, a crossbow, that's cool. What is that? Oh, it's oil lighter fluid. All right. Oh, bread. Yes, we can give that to Mr. Duck. All right, well, I've searched this entire place and we didn't find anything too amazing, but we'll move on to the next location now. So. Let's go. Here we are back in Novo, the old safe zone. I miss this place. And now look here, there's hardly anything left. Most of it is underground now. Well, under the snow. Kind of sad to see it like this, if I'm honest. Oh, that didn't sound too good. All right, I'm heading to the next town along now. I haven't actually checked this place out for loot yet, so it could be pretty good. I don't know. Okay, so it's just over here. Moscow is over there. I believe, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I still, I don't know if Moscow's good for loot either. That's something I need to check out. Wait, is that a vehicle? Whoa, 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 whoa. We have two helicopters in the sky. That's an attack helicopter. Okay, I'm gonna hide behind this tree. Jump out my car so they can't hear the engine. Who is that? I can't really identify. Okay, I think that might be UDF and the Brotherhood. What are they doing? They have an attack helicopter as well. Where's the other guy gone? It's kind of annoying how my, my car is bright orange here. Okay, I'm going to follow them. This is super dangerous and probably a really bad idea, but... I'm just going to slowly follow behind them and take it nice and slow, see where they go. I might be able to figure out where the UDF base is. If that's where they're heading, I can then tell the other guys where it is they, they live. Yes, come on, this is perfect. Take me to your base. Hopefully they have no idea that I'm following them. Yeah, I definitely need to get a, uh, a more camouflaged car, I think. Where are they going? Let's just keep following. Oh, it looks like they're landing. They're getting lower. Okay, let me just take a, a left here. We're gonna go off-road a little bit. All right, let's... Uh... Okay, they might be able to hear my vehicle, so I'm gonna get out of here. This is so dumb. I could really use some ghillie cloves right now. Some arty gilly cloves. Wait, I think I can see the helicopter, actually. Oh, I can see him. I can actually see him. Wait, let me take a closer look. Okay, there's four of them so far. What are they up to? Oh, there's another one there. So that's the attack helicopter. Where is the other helicopter gone? I can't see it. I don't think they've spotted me yet, so we should be okay. Let's just take it nice and slow. Make sure to sneak around the corner. All right, so there's a, a truck there and a van. It looks like some crates. Oh, I would love to know what they're talking about right now. They're probably planning something. Okay, let me just make sure no one else is behind me or anything. Okay, we should be fine. I want to know what's in those boxes as well. Oh, man. I did not expect my day to go like this, spying on the UDF and the Brotherhood. I still can't believe the Brotherhood are on their side now. That's something we've still got to figure out why they've done that. What are you doing, boy? Look at these traitors. We fought against the UDF for such a long time. Now look at them working alongside them. Whatever they do now, I'm going to tell the other guys about when I get back, I think. I need to tell the Blue Berets. I haven't seen them for a while. Now, <laughs> if I engage right now, that would probably be the dumbest idea I would have ever done. Because I do not have the ammo to take all these guys out. Oh, that guy looks like he's getting a little bit closer. I'm just going to hide here and peek around in third person. Oh, they're taking off. I can hear the helicopter. Oh, he's getting fuel. Yeah, I would honestly love just to take them all out. Imagine if I had like some sort of Hell's Fury and just got a little bit closer and absolutely annihilated them. That would be the coolest thing ever right now. But unfortunately, I don't have a Hell's Fury. So 
Yeah, kind of sucks. Okay, that helicopter is about to take off, so I'm just going to go back down here quickly. Kind of hide around the corner. Make sure they don't see me. Wait, are they both leaving? Okay, there goes one helicopter. And there's the other one now. Well, I've definitely got to tell the other guys that they have an attack helicopter. I think they probably already know already, though. Okay, they're leaving. It's, there's one guy down there. Is that it? Okay, there's only one left down there. That guy there. They left him on his own? I think they have. I think he's the only one left. Alright, well, now that he doesn't have backup, I might be able to take him out. Oh, could you imagine if I killed him with my bow and arrow? That would be insane. Anyway, I need to take it nice and slow now. I don't want anyone to hear me. I want to make sure it's only just that guy. Looks like he's guarding the crates. Ooh. Alright. Let's make sure he doesn't see me. Alright, so how am I going to do this? If I take cover behind this tree... Wait, no, actually, if I go all the way around... I might just be able to sneak up behind him and take him out and see what's in those crates. Okay, that's not a bad idea at all. Okay, guys, I know this is, like, super risky, and I probably shouldn't be doing this, but I gotta know what's in those crates. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm making a break for it. Oh, this is such a dumb idea. And hope they doesn't hear my footsteps. We'll use third person here, of course. Okay, wait. There he is, right there, right there. If we can get behind that train wreck, we should be able to get a good vantage point at him. All right, wait. Go, 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 go. Oh, he hasn't seen us yet. Getting pretty close. Oh, he's jumping. What is he doing? He's unpredictable. This is... Oh, okay. He's right there. He's right there. If he spots me, there's no way I can win against him. He's got a machine gun. Okay, and... Go, 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 go. All right, I'm sneaking around. All right, there he is. There he is right there. Oh, I got him. I got him. He's actually down. Okay, take his stuff. Okay, it's definitely clear. There's no other UDF or Brotherhood around. Okay, what's in these crates? It better be good. My peacemaker. Oh, oh, I've missed this. We got military night vision now. All right, let's put the bow and arrow down. Look at this thing. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness, no way. We have a rocket launcher. We're getting some more ammo. All right, there's nothing in this crate and nothing in this crate as well. Oh no, the rest of them, they're empty. All right, well, he was guarding literally a rocket launcher, a night raider, and some other bits. That's a bit strange. Maybe someone else was coming to pick this up. I don't know. All right, where, where did I park my car? Somewhere over here, right? It better still be there. Anyway, I need to leave because there's a good chance someone else is going to be arriving there very soon. Maybe that's their pickup point. That must be what it is. It's probably where they do their transactions. Now, wherever those helicopters have flown off to, I assume they've gone to the base. Maybe I should have followed the helicopter instead of sticking around for the loot. Anyway, I'm going to head back to the safe zone. The sun's going down now, of course, so I need to get home pretty quickly. Oh my goodness. We should have enough fuel to get back, but um, if, if we run out, of course, we can just use the gas can that Joel gave us. I think that was the first time. I've actually used my bow and arrow against someone in a PvP situation. That was so sneaky, though. <laughs> if I could do that more often, I'm definitely going to do it because a bow and arrow is actually its pretty good. And this is where I wanted to go loot, but... Uh, okay. Oh, no. That's, that's not what I was hoping to do. Hey, a hammer. Thank you, zombie. So, yeah, this is where I originally wanted to go looting. But then, of course, I saw the helicopter, so we might as well just do a little quick session. See if we can find anything. I have a Night Raider now, so this is obviously going to be super useful in combat. All right, police station. Some ammo. Uh, nothing else. Okay, but I've got a rocket launcher now, so I think what I'm going to do is probably store that in my cabinet that Mr. Duck built for me in the last episode. I think that's probably my most secure location. Where's my car? I always lose my car. Oh, there it is. The big bright orange thing. I didn't get as much looting done as I had hoped, but my inventory is now filled with stuff because obviously I just stole the UDF stuff. Also, I just realized they're going to be super mad at me now. I mean, actually, they, they won't notice me. I went in totally silent with a bow and arrow. Yeah, surely they won't figure out it's me. Or maybe they will. I don't know. Either way, they're going to be mad that I stole their stuff. What is that? Is that a player? Oh, it's not. It's... Is that sheep? What are you doing? It's in the roof. Poor thing. 
All right, let's go. We're taking a shortcut. And here we are. I have returned. It's me. No one's here anyway. I think everyone's probably asleep anyway. All right, let's park the vehicle back up. Oh, it's good to be back. Oh, there's someone there. Ah, oh, it's my neighbors. Ah, oh, it's good to be home. We need to get some lights in here. It's so dark. All we have is the flare. Oh, jeez. All right, we're safe. All right, now we're back in the trailer. I'm going to end this episode right here. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you did leave me a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. I'll leave a link both in the description below. And I shall see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.